Hello everybody, this is Adam from Wax Pack Gods. I hope you're doing well. A couple of days ago, I went through some uh, Don Rose Action All-Stars from, I think it was 1984, and then it occurred to me that I had something else along those lines, and I dug through my pile of old school collectibles, and I found something that's definitely old school. What it is, is my set of 1983 Donruss Action All-Stars, which was the first year that Donruss made these uh, oversized cards. And these, this was in the days before I had any kind of uh, baseball card storage devices. And so I just uh, commandeered one of my mom's photo albums at the time and the cards fit perfectly inside of the albums. One card per slot where you would normally put you know, three by five or maybe a couple of uh, portrait type pictures. So I thought it might be fun to go through this entire set here, flip through it, kind of travel back in time, 35, 36 years, and see what these guys look like. Maybe I'll pull a couple out so we can see the backs because they were pretty nice for the time. Um, so here they are. So we had Eddie Murray and Dwight Evans, Reggie Jackson. So a couple Hall of Famers there already with another one. Uh, Dwight Duby, who probably should be in the Hall of Fame. And then we have uh, Greg Luzinski, Larry Herndon, Al Oliver, Scoop, Bill Buckner, before the ball went through his legs. Looks like he's standing there ready for that kind of a play in this shot. Jason Thompson, Andre Dawson, who was still with the Montreal Expos a few years before he went to the Cubs, won that National League MVP award. Greg Minton, so you get to see some of the guys that were good um, at at this point in time, kind of a snapshot of the, the All-Stars. Uh, Greg Minton, Terry Kennedy, the 107-year-old Phil, Phil Necro, Speedster Willie Wilson, Johnny Bench, who was in 83, was in his last year, uh, Ron Guidry, Louisiana Lightning for the New York Yankees. Let's see. Hal McRae, who was a member of my Cincinnati Reds at one point. Uh, Damaso Garcia, underrated uh, second baseman for the Toronto Blue Jays. Gary Ward, Cecil Cooper, Keith Hernandez. Yes, I have to do it every time. He's Keith Hernandez. Ron Say, the Penguin, who was, in my mind, like the second best third baseman in baseball at the time behind Mike Schmidt, of course. Ricky Henderson, that's a great card of a young Ricky. The, the action shot showing him getting ready to sprint at you, probably going from second to third. Uh, Nolan Ryan, Steve Carlton, pretty apropos that those two are next to each other considering that 83 was the year they both broke Walter Johnson's uh, strikeout record. John Stearns, catcher for the New York Mets. Jim Sunberg, catcher for the Rangers. Joaquin Andujar, a pitcher for the Cardinals. Old man Gaylord Perry and his Vaseline. And Jack Clark with his monstrous eyebrow and even more monstrous swing. Sweet swinging Bill Madlock. It was always a threat to win a batting title. Pete Rose, that was one of my favorite cards as a kid because Pete was one of my favorite players. I followed him forever. Mookie Wilson with the Mets. Raleigh Fingers. Gotta love the mustache. Lonnie Smith. Tony Pena. Big Dave Winfield. Tim Lawler, good pitcher for the uh, Padres. Rod Carew always seemed to be sporting the workout gear during those years. Toby Hara, Mr. Palindrome at third base for the Cleveland Indians. <laughs> Buddy Bell, Blaze, because he ran so fast, maybe not, at third base for the Texas Rangers, also played for the Reds at one point, and his son will now be the manager of the Reds. Uh, Bruce Suter, relief pitcher. Uh, let's see, George Brett, Mr. Pine Tower, Mr. Hemorrhoids, wearing his track suit there. Carlton Fisk, who would play until he was well into his 90s. 
as catcher for the White Sox. Kari Strzemski, who was winding up his Hall of Fame career. Uh, Yaz was with the Red Sox, of course. Dale Murphy doing his poster boy shot. The reigning NL MVP at that point, and he'd won another one that year. Bob Horner in disguise with his mustache uh, when he wasn't hitting quite as many homers as he wanted, and but before he went to Japan. Dave Concepcion, who manned shortstop for the Reds forever until Barry Larkin came along. Dave Steeb, who was the other Jack Morris, the better Jack Morris maybe. Kent Terbeck, who needed to buy a vowel. Lance Parrish from those great Tigers teams of the 80s. Joe Necro, Phil's brother. Cal Ripken Jr., there at shortstop. The streak wasn't really known. He had just won uh, American League Rookie of the Year in 82 and would be most valuable player in 83. He was a shortstop instead of a shortstop. There's Fernando Valenzuela, just a couple years removed from Fernando Mania. Uh, Richie Zisk, fine player, fine outfielder for the Seattle Mariners. Leon Durham, slugger for the Cubs of the era. Robin Yount, who had won the American League MVP in 82. My man Mike Schmidt, who had won the National League MVP in 80 and 81, and who I think probably could have won another one in 82 um, and did win another one in, it was 86, I think. And then there's Gary the Kid Carter, catcher for the Montreal Expos. And then Fred Lynn, who was the first player to win Most Valuable Player and Rookie of the Year in the same season in 1975 with the Boston Red Sox. And then there's the checklist. So let's take a look, if I can, this stuff is really old now, might fall apart. Take a quick look at Fred Lenz, the back of Fred Lenz card. So the next year in 84, Donruss would put full color photos on the backs of their cards. But this year, just have complete stats, which was um, unusual for a Donruss card. And then big blocks of text to describe, you know, his uh, kind of, Bio information, injuries, highlights, acquisition route, and so forth. So he was is Frederick Michael Lynn. So he's what six, he's coming up on sixty-seven years old. That's hard to believe. So anyway, there you have it. A complete set of nineteen eighty-three Don Russ Action All Stars in an old school binder. Thanks for watching. You can find us at waxpackgods.com and on Twitter at waxpackgods. See you later.